So check out this custom boot up screen. You can put whatever you want in there. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, we're here in the Lake Drizzle and we're looking out across the field with the One Leaf MT-1000 laser rangefinder model. We're gonna demonstrate how this automatic laser works. And we are in a light rain, just a light drizzle here. Um, I can see decently across the field. I'm just gonna tap that button, turn on the laser. I'm reading 760.4 in the rain. I'm going to pan over a little bit. And that's reading off of trees. I'm going to try to get a loophole shot here underneath some branches. We are now at 873 in the rain. Okay. And we're going to get a little closer. I'm going to get something closer here. Now, when you see I get closer, the BDC automatically kicks in once we're within range. This is sighted in for 22 long rifle, which uh, is, you're not going to get past five. So let's see if I can get a 500 meter deal here from this angle. So you can see the BDC is activated when we're within our usable range. It's usually right around five-ish. But this is looking at very long distances in the rain. It's a lot sharper, of course, when it's clear out. We do have a little bit of water on the lens. Yeah, it's 7.05. Okay. I'm going to change directions. I'm going to go this way. So I'm going to try to get focused. You can see the BDC. I go out a little bit past that. At 3.20, you can see the BDC is moving down. That's automatic ballistic drop compensation using the laser, okay? So I'm panning out. And yeah, it's raining a decent amount. I'm actually shooting through as well some of my steel tree stands here. So you can see now, I'm lazing the trees out in the field. We're at about 546, and you can see the BDC reticle has moved all the way down. That sucker's actually surprisingly close. Um, we we're shooting out at some heated water bottles out in the field at a pretty decent distance, and um, gosh darn, like it was lobbing them in there. Now we had a strong 25 mile an hour headwind cross component so it was doing about what it should if we have a day with no wind we'll try to get some elr 22 in to kind of demonstrate that a little more but you can see the bdc as i pan up to 618 it drops way down when i bring it in close it pops back into place so it calibrates about every second 194 it's a very flat field kind of a grazing angle and all the way out she drops and I don't know if you see, we do appear to have either, what do we got here, birds in the garden? So I'm looking across the field and I see one of my steel targets out there. And we still do have a light drizzle, but I can still see it pretty good. Considering it doesn't have very high thermal contrast when it's all wet and cold. I'm going to go ahead and just tap this button. So you see this dial right here? I'm just going to tap that like so. All right. So now it is lazing. And we got a reading on the target. It is 686.7 yards. Okay. Now that is out of range for the calibration for the ballistic drop compensator on 22 long rifle. That goes below the bottom of the screen. So I'm going to come in with something a little closer. Um, maybe we can change directions or fire real quick. So we're looking out in the field out there. Got some trees. So as you can see, as I pan closer and closer, that BDC is jumping back and forth. Now you see out in the field, we got some critters out there across the field. 198. See, I want to engage that. Let's say I'm hooked up to a rifle, which I'm not right now, obviously. 
I'm gonna lock that in place by tapping that button. Now I simply hold over where the BDC mark is on the bottom screen, right there, and we're on target. So then to re-engage the laser, active laser range finding and ballistic drop compensation, we simply click that again, it takes a second, and watch as we pan out. I'm gonna get these trees out here. Watch the BDC reticle continue to drop as we pan out, that was a fence post. It was close in. So it's dropping. That's for a 22 long rifle, guys. Okay. It's 400. Sorry. I'm hitting a lot of fence posts that, you, that you're not seeing because I'm focused beyond it. So I'm hitting fence posts. 582. 602. 645. Six, so right around 645, it starts to drop off the screen where it's not even really safe to engage because you can't see what's in front of the target. So it terminates right when the reticle is about that far down on the screen. Now for larger calibers, this is gonna, you're gonna be able to see all the way out to the max range of most of your medium calibers. Uh, the laser works out to about 1300 in good conditions with high reflectivity, it can go a little farther, but it's raining now and we're seeing out to, you know, 800 yards on the other side. And you can see those are fence posts that I'm periodically digging there. So there we are. But that BDC kicks in once we're within range. So if I wanted to shoot out there at a target, I'm just gonna click this button down right here. Well, what? I'm gonna click that button that locks it in. Now I can hold over and pew, 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 do my thing. When I'm done, I just click it again super freaking easy to run and this does have height above bore as well for close range shots i noticed like when you're at point blank most people forget to account for height above bore if you're not used to shooting very close with the rifle this actually compensates for it so if you see the bdc like significantly off at very close range that's what it's doing for you put the crosshair the bdc crosshair even at close range where you want to shoot. Very handy for field mice and gophers up close. Rock and roll. Pretty cool, huh?